Hello everybody. Welcome to Word Shard. Today we are going to deal with the questions from Old Man at the Bridge written by Ernest Hemingway. First we will see the picture of Ernest Hemingway as we had done in the last class. Once again we will know the author. Uh, he is a very renowned author as we all know and today we will do the important questions and then we will also solve the answers. Okay, we will know what are the answers to those probable questions that may come in your ICSE exam. Reference to context. Let's read the reference first. An old man with steel rimmed spectacles and very dusty clothes sat by the side of the road. There was a pontoon bridge across the river and carts, trucks and men, women and children were crossing it. The mule-drawn carts staggered up the steep bank from the bridge with soldiers helping push against the spokes of the wheels. So the first question is what is a pontoon bridge? Very important question. What is a pontoon bridge? In the last class, I have given you the definition. Marks allotted to this is only one mark. It is a temporary bridge. This is a very important point. We must write this one, a temporary bridge. Then we can describe it. These bridges are made of large hollow containers filled with air. This is a temporary bridge. So it is, it is not required that you make the bridge like we see the bridges normally. It can be made with hollow containers filled with air. It will just float on the water and you can use it as a bridge to grow to go to the other side. Next, second part of the question is why are many people crossing the bridge? This one's marks is two. Why are these people crossing the bridge? Many people were crossing the bridge because of the artillery fire of the enemy. This one is an important point, artillery fire of the enemy. It was the time of the Spanish Civil War. We have to write this if it is a two mark question. If it was a one mark question, only artillery fire is alright. But if it is a two mark question, we have to write the situation. We have to write about the Spanish Civil War as there was a constant threat of attack by the fascists. This part also we have to write. At least we have to mention that it was the time of Spanish Civil War and the fascists were going to attack. Next we'll move to question number two. Where is the old man sitting? This is the first part. Marks allotted is one. Where is the old man sitting? Very easy. The old man was sitting by the side of the road instead of crossing the pontoon bridge like the other refugees. This part is fully important. By the side of the road is the most important point. By the side of the road. And uh, he was not crossing like the other refugees. This part is also important. Unlike others, why didn't he move? All the other refugees were moving away from the place because of the danger. Why wasn't he moving? Three marks is allotted over here. What is the answer? He was 76 years old, point number one. Okay, he was 76 years old. Point number two, walked 12 kilometers from his home. From San Carlos, he has walked 12 kilometers. He was too tired to walk. He was very tired because he was old and also weary because he has been walking for so long. He was too tired to walk. There is one more reason. If there is more than two marks, you will have to write this one also. He knew nobody in any other place. He did not. He was a very old man. He did not want to go to any other place where he knew nobody. He had a number of animals, his dear animals. He, uh, he was taking care of them. San Carlos was the only place he knew. So uh, no other people knew him and he also knew nobody. So he did not want to go to any other place other than his homeland. He would prefer death in his homeland. He would rather die in his own land. So he did not move. Okay. Next question number three. Why is the old man the last one to leave his town? Why is the person the last one to leave the town? Marks allotted here is two. The old man was taking care of his animals. He was taking care of his animals and that is why he did not want to leave his animals and go. He did not want to leave them at the time of trouble. He was forced to leave. He would not have left but he was forced to leave by the captain. So he had to move away from his place. Next question. Describe his physical appearance. Marks allotted is 2. So this one what we will write. The old man wore steel rimmed spectacles. Point number 1. Okay, you will not write in points but I am mentioning so that you know which are the important points. He wore very dusty black clothes. You have another point over here. Next, he had a grey dusty face, another point and he did not look like a shepherd. This, wasn't, this, was, this is not that much important. Mainly these three circled points are important. 
Next, we'll move on to the second extract. Let's read the second one. Where do you come from? I asked him. From San Carlos, he said and smiled. That was his native town. So it gave him pleasure to mention it and he smiled. I was taking care of animals, he explained. Oh, I said, not quite understanding. This part, let's see what are the reference to context from here. Who is I? Who is this person who is speaking? I is the unnamed narrator who is an army scout. Both of the points are important. He is the narrator over here and he is also an army scout or you can just write he was a soldier. Next, what task was assigned to him? The soldier was given the duty to cross the bridge, point number one. Explore the bridgehead beyond. This one is point number two. Explore the bridgehead beyond and check how far the enemy had advanced. This is point number three. So this one cross the bridge is a very small point, half a mark. Bridgehead beyond is another half a mark and the next part is one mark. So two marks. We will move to question number two. What all animals did the old man own? This one you all can answer. He had two goats, one cat and four pairs of pigeons. Next question, identify the symbolic significance of the animals. What is the symbolic significance of these animals? This is a very important question. You can mark it as important, very important question. The cat is an independent creature. It can look after itself. The cat's symbol is it is an independent creature. It can look after itself. Now, whom does the cat represent? It is a symbol of those people who don't require the help of others to survive. There are a few people who does not require others help to survive. So cat resembles them. During these, uh, uh, this, this kind of, uh, this period of a time when there is a war, there are few people who can look after themselves, who does not, uh, who are not at high risk. So cats represent them. Next we have the pigeons. They like peace and harmony. They do not like this war. They represent all these people who are running away from their place. The refugees who escape to safer places. These are, they, they represent the refugees who are escaping from their own homes. They are going away from their own places to somewhere else where there is less risk. Lastly, the goat is a sacrificial animal. These animals are sacrificed in in times of uh, risk and trouble and everything they are ruthlessly sacrificed quite like the old man himself the old man is also being sacrificed the old man was the one without any politics he had done no harm to anybody yet he was being he was soon going to be killed by the artillery attack and this one is very important next we'll move to question number three the last question for today what can we conclude about the consequences of war from these incidents what do you know about that? This is the theme of the story. What do you think a war, how does war affect us? Okay, so war is futile. Very important word. You can remember it. Futile, futility of war. You can put it like that also. It pointlessness of war. It has no point. Why should we kill one another? Isn't it? So it takes away millions of lives, innocent lives and causes destructions manifold. Huge number of huge forms of destruction, physical destruction, uh, destruction of property. These things happen. It is highlighted through the condition of the old man. The old man is a symbol of these victims of war, the helpless victims of war who are sacrificed just because there is a war. They do no harm to anybody. They were not involved in any politics. I have written the same point over here. He was involved in no political affair, yet he was forced to leave his town and his dear animals. He had to leave everything. He had to leave his animals. He had to leave his own place at this age and go away. And it is sure that he's going to die. So he sits helplessly near the bridge, waiting for his impending death, quite like his course. So he cannot leave his animals back in danger. He himself has sacrificed himself altogether. He knows that soon he is going to die just like his animals. So this is the ill effect of war that Hemingway is talking of over here in this story. Okay, throughout the story, he tries to bring out the ill effects. He was himself involved in a war, in wars, First World War, Second World War. So he knew all those effects of war, the drastic, the ill impacts of war on people, on humanity. Men kills men in a war. So we are we are killing each other, isn't it? We It is a disgrace to the human race. That is why we should not, we should stop these wars from taking place, okay? Because this has no positive impact. This has only destructive impacts on people, okay? That's all for today. And the next part of the chapter, the questions, the important questions from the next part of the chapter, we are going to do in the next class. I hope you like my video. If you have liked it, please 
subscribe and comment thank you so much